What is the average amount of Robux a Please Donate player has raised? What about the average amount donated? You probably haven't asked this question before, but it certainly seems interesting, and if you're a newer player, you may want to know it so you can form a goal based off of it. After all, half of all people can reach the average, certainly you can. This is why today I set out to form a proper estimate of the average stats of Please Donate players of all kinds. So, let's get right into figuring this problem out. Now, to get an average value, you need data to average out, so let's hop on an alt and join some random servers to get the stats of 100 people or so. I'll get stats values from three different types of servers public servers voice chat servers and legacy servers you're here for the averages though so let's just time lapse the data gathering and move on to processing it Okay, so I've just run the numbers through a Python script, let's take a look at them, starting with public servers. Prepare for a lot of talking about how these numbers are calculated, but this will only happen for the first section. Anyway, these servers are the servers everyone joins when they start the game and learns to hate as they play. The overall mean average amount of raised, which is calculated by just adding everyone's rays together and dividing by the amount of numbers we added together, is 1,394 raised. This sounds about right, though it may not be, since there can be people with an incredibly high amount of raised dragging the average up significantly. So, by removing the top 5 and everyone with 0 rays, we get a number that isn't as affected by the people with drastically different stats, also known as outliers. Without these outliers, the mean average is 995 Robux rays, so anyone with 1000 rays or more is above average in a public server. The actual number could be much lower though if we use another type of average, the median average, calculated by arranging all of the numbers in a set in an ascending or descending order and picking the one in the middle. The median average raise stat for public servers is only 166 Robux rays, so if you're anywhere above that and you regularly play in public servers, you're above average. Unless you remove those who haven't raised anything, as most public servers have several people with zero raised. So, if you remove them from the calculation, you push the median average up to 285 raised. No matter which way you put it though, these are the lowest numbers you'll see until we go back over public servers for the donated stat. For voice chat only servers, I had to join on my main account because my alternate account doesn't have voice chat. Either way, it shouldn't have affected it that much as I never ended up joining a friend server, just gonna say that for trans transparency in case it somehow affected the data. That out of the way, the mean average for voice chat servers is 26,428 raised, and without outliers it's 9,813 raised. This is why many YouTubers say to join voice chat servers, the people in them have significantly more Robux. The median average is also more than double the overall mean average of public servers at 3,115 raised, or 3,147 raised excluding those who haven't raised anything. This is so much higher than public servers, though joining them comes with the risks of using Roblox voice chat and dealing with its unpredictable moderation. However, voice chat servers are not the only option, as legacy servers also have significantly higher stats than normal servers. The mean average raised for these servers is actually significantly higher than voice chat servers at an insane 53,815 Rolex raised, or 11,293 without outliers. Speaking of outliers, I feel like it's a good idea to mention that during recording in these servers, I encountered someone with over 3 million raised, so they're probably dragging the general mean average up by over 20,000 Robux. This may explain why it's so much higher than voice chat servers, and it's why I provide the number without outliers. This may seem like it's significantly better than using voice chat, however the median raised is significantly lower, sitting at 1,245 raised or 1,340 without including people who have nothing raised. Though, this is still better than public servers, and the high mean average shows that people with high raise do play legacy servers, just not everyone has a ton of Robux there. Now, since all the stuff we've seen already is for the raised stat, we have to do everything again for the donated stat. All the average calculations are the same, so let's just look at the baseline average of the public servers. Unsurprisingly, it's absolutely abysmal. They all make sense, with the mean average of 432 Robux with outliers and 230 without, and the median at 55, only including those who have donated something before. However, the median average including those who have not donated anything is a mere 5 Robux. Now, you may recall that the median raised was 166 raised, so it's not bad that nearly nobody in public servers has donated anything. Some people just play the game to get some Robux for game passes and therefore wouldn't be donating. There's nothing wrong with keeping some Robux to yourself. Also, the public server sample had some bots in it, and they're not programmed to donate, just fool people to give in to Robux. Either way, the voice chat only servers yielded better results. There was an insane mean average of 45,752 Robux with outliers, however, it's the outliers that made the number as large as it was.
was. Two people had over 1 million donated, which brought the average up by around 30,000 Robux. Removing outliers gives us a mean average of 4,123 donated for voice chat servers, which is a lot more reasonable considering the mean average raised is 9,813. The median average of voice chat servers, however, is only 641 donated, or 919, only including those who had donated before. Not the best, however, again, some people don't donate much. Either way, let's move on to legacy servers. Legacy servers have a similar problem to voice chat servers, as you may recall an extreme outlier in Rays near the top 100 was in one of the servers I joined. They have donated all of the Robux they've earned from this game, and then some, sitting at 1.8 million donated. This brings the mean average up a ton, to 45,263 Robux donated, though removing outliers saves the day again, bringing the mean average back down to 8,689 Robux donated. As we've seen though, the median average is much lower than the mean, and this holds true with a mere 303 Robux donated, or 386 excluding people who haven't donated yet. This may seem bad, however, the median raise was 1,245, 1,340 excluding those with zero raise, so it's actually fairly consistent with the other two server types compared to the raised. If you've made it this far, you probably enjoy data nearly as much as I do, so let's have some more fun with it. First off, I realize I have a list of 100 bots from another video, so why not grab the raise stats of them all and average them out? After grabbing all the raise stats, I did just that and came up with a mean average of 183. Obviously, there were a few outliers, some of which were in the thousands of raised, and after removing them, the mean average was 111 raised. The median average was a lot closer to the mean on this one, sitting at 70 Robux raised, or 80 excluding those with zero raised. It's sad how bots can manage several dozen Robux before being banned, but it's interesting to see. Also, I felt like averaging out the stats of the top 100 players. This, however, would be boring if I just averaged out the stats only to come up with a result that would look similar to what scrolling down on the leaderboard does, so I decided to get the raised stats of everyone on the donated leaderboard. I'd have done it the other way around too if you could view the donated stats of people who are offline, though as far as I know you can't, so I can only use the donated leaderboard. First off, the mean average raise of the donated leaderboard is a stunning 5,889,182 Robux as of around 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 13th, 2024. I'm specifying the time here as this data is more subject to change than pretty much any of the other data shown. Either way, let's remove the outliers from this list as the person with the most raised out of everyone in Please Donate is on this leaderboard. Removing the top 5 raised and bottom 5 raised from the list gives us a new mean average of 3,645,171 raised. Still absolutely insane, though remember there's still people with well over 10 million Robux raised on this list, so the median average of 1,501,709 raised is probably better to show what the true average is, like it probably is for just about everything here. By the way, I was curious about who had that median average, as it always corresponds to an entry, and it turned out to be one of the most active donators as of recently, your shoes 22. Either way, even the highest of these averages barely scratches the bottom of what's required to even reach the donated leaderboard, so it's evident that most people on that leaderboard either purchase an absolute absolutely unbelievable amount of Robux, or more likely are a developer. Some people seem to have raised all or most of the Robux that they've donated, but most have gotten theirs from somewhere else. Well, that's it for averaging anything and everything I can in-game. If you enjoyed the video, I'll be posting all the data in this video and more in my Discord server shortly after this video goes live, so join that if you want to see all the averages used, all the averages not used, and all the raw data in this video. Also, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video!